Hello everyone and welcome to this new session on Traverse Adjustment. Today I'm going to present some information on the aim of Traverse and what are the observations required to perform a complete solution of a Traverse. So let's start. A Traverse guide consists of series of connected points or stations. As you can see here, this is a station a station D station C B and A these stations form a five-sided traverse in this case a traverse can have any number of sides in this case we have five sides one two three four five in some cases it might be like six seven eight nine or even four the aim of traverse guys is to calculate the coordinates of all of these stations easting and northing for each one of these stations so we need to calculate easting and northing of E easting and northing of D, C, B and A and if we know the coordinates of these stations we can do some detailing work to produce a plan for this area or we can set out any structure, building or road etc For example, let's say that you have some area with some details So let's say that you have some trees here And for example you have a lake here and you have some green spaces here grassed areas or something like that and you have road here for example and some buildings So let's say that you have an area like this and then you've been asked for example to produce a plan for this area First you need to establish some control station like this Okay, to format this traverse now To set up some stations on the ground And each station, it would be something like a nail on the ground or it might be a wooden peg if you have grassed areas And then you need to calculate the coordinates of these stations and this is the aim of Traverse in fact and if you have the coordinates now you can collect all the details about all of these features here and then to produce your map or plan and also you can use this for setting out you can use these stations for setting out for example if you plan to build a new building here like this one let's say it's not exist on the ground but you have planned this in the office and then you need to set out this building on the ground you can use these stations for setting out the corner or the corners of the building and then to start the excavations for this structure okay guys so because of that it's very important to calculate the coordinates of these stations to a very high level of accuracy because of that we are going to do some corrections as you will see later on uh, to calculate the coordinates of each of these stations to a very high level of accuracy so now guys you know the aim of traverse is to calculate the coordinates of each of the survey stations now how to do this you need to do some measurements some observations on the ground and then to do some calculations so the data required the measurements that you need to do and the data required first you need the coordinates of one station always 
you have to start from a known point so that you can calculate the unknown points let's say in this case you know the coordinates of station D easting and northing okay and you need also a whole circle bearing of one side of the traverse sides for example in this case I know the whole circle bearing of side DC this is the whole circle bearing and the whole circle bearing is simply an angle from the north clockwise towards the side okay so this is the whole circle bearing in definition it is an angle from the north towards the side so now let's say that you know the whole circle bearing of side DC and you know the coordinates of point D you need to do some measurements on the ground these are the measured values horizontal angles and distances you need to get your total station and then to measure these internal angles of the traverse this one this one this one this one and this one in this case you have five angles because this one is this traverse is five-sided traverse so you need to measure five angles internal angles and also five distances between each two stations you need to measure this distance this one this one this one and this one so you need to measure five angles and five distances in this case because this is a five-sided traverse as I have just mentioned and these values could be measured using total station I explained how to measure a horizontal angle and distances using total station in a separate video in details in fact you can watch the uh, video here so all the information required for measuring horizontal angles and distances is provided in a separate video here guys it's called measuring horizontal angles and distances using total station also if the term whole circle bearing is new to you I provided a detailed information on how to calculate the whole circle bearing in a video called whole circle bearing and north direction so you can check that as well if you are not sure about the whole circle bearing calculations so once you have all of these data ready with you guys you can start the calculations okay the data again the coordinates of one of the stations easting and northing of one of the control stations and the whole circle bearing of one side the first side of the traverse and also you need to measure the horizontal angles the internal horizontal angles and the distances between each two stations once you have these numbers ready with you now you can move to the next stage which is the traverse adjustment calculations now I will give you some background on the traverse adjustment procedure and then in a separate video I'm going to do a, a complete example from A to Z how to do the calculations because it is a long process so that we can explain this in details for you later on but for now I summarized the main stages of the traverse adjustment procedure first you need to check the angles and distribute the angular error and then you are going to calculate the whole circle bearings after that you are going to check the distances I will explain these new terms later on latitudes and departures they are related to the distances that you measured these distances here between each two stations and finally you need to calculate the final coordinates or total coordinates of each of these stations A, B, C, D and E okay To summarize the whole calculations guys if you have for example here a station A with known coordinates let's say that I'm going to start from station A and I know the coordinates easting and northing of A and my aim is to calculate easting and northing of station B these are unknowns and I would like to calculate them okay this is station B here as I have just mentioned guys 
you need to start from a known point and with a known whole circle bearing for example let's say in this case you know the whole this angle which is the whole circle bearing of line a b so this is known as well so you know the coordinates of a and you know the whole circle bearing of a b which is this angle from the north to line a b and I said you need to get your total station to measure the distance between a and b this distance here let's call it l a b the length of a b now departures and latitudes are very simple terms the departure is the projection of line AB on the easting axis which is this distance from here to here so this is called departure and from this triangle guys here this is the departure this is the distance from here to here here and from this triangle as you can see here this angle is the same of the whole circle bearing here so I would say the departure value which is this line from here to here is the length of AB times sine this angle which is the whole circle bearing of AB this is the departure and the latitude is this one here the projection of LAB on the north axis this is the north axis okay and this is the latitude here this distance from here to here this is the latitude okay so the latitude would be length of AB from the triangle times cosine whole circle bearing of AB okay from this triangle the same triangle this is the latitude from here to here this distance is the latitude which is the same of this one of course okay so the departures and latitudes are related to the distances that we measured using total station so and because we have a lot of measured values here we have measured angles and measured distances so always in surveying when you do any measurement there would be kind of error so we need to calculate the accuracy of our work or to calculate the error so that we can distribute them if they are within the allowable accuracy so after you do your measurements on the ground using total station if you would like to draw let's say the traverse that you have measured mostly it will not close with you for example let's say that you started drawing your traverse from point A and then you've drawn the line to E the line to D to C to B and then you need to return to A and then you will realize there is kind of error so instead of A you have a different point let's call it A prime and the difference between these two points is called the uh, linear error for example get this here so this is the difference between these two points here and this is the linear error okay and this linear error will have two components in the departure direction here departure the linear error in this direction and also you will have an error in that direction if you would like to calculate them I'm going to explain how to calculate this linear error in detail in the next video and also because you have measured the angles mostly you've done some kind of error and then we are going to calculate this error as well so let's clean everything now so for the angular error guys for this case we have five angles and I know in theory the summation of these angles should be 540 degrees 
but when you find the actual summation of your angles these angles they might be 540 degrees for example 0 minutes and 20 seconds so that means that you've done an error of 20 seconds and you need to distribute this error okay so these are the errors and the corrections for the distances in terms of departures and latitude and also for the angles and all of this would be explained in details in a separate video which is about the traverse adjustment calculations okay so in this video separate video that I mentioned I'm going to solve this example I'm going to go through the details of solving this example from A to Z how to do the calculations to calculate the coordinates of the unknown stations for example we will start from station A B C and D this is a four-sided traverse and these are the data required here as you can see we've been given the whole circle bearing of AB don't forget the whole circle bearing is just an angle from the north towards the line that we are working on here the whole circle bearing of AB this is the line AB here this uh, angle is being given to be 100 degrees 11 minutes and 22 seconds so this is the whole circle bearing of AB and also we've been given the coordinates of station A in this case they are 900 for easting and 800 for northing and then we've been asked to do the calculations we've got our total station these are measurements using total station as I mentioned you need to do some measurements to measure all the internal angles and distances so using total station I'm going to measure this angle this angle this one and this one and also I'm going to measure the distance between each two stations these four distances should be measured using total station and this is the table I have the length of each side of the traverse for example AB BC CD DA and here I have the internal angle of A B C and D so now I have all the data that I need to start the calculations and as I mentioned I will explain this in detail in a separate video okay I hope that was useful guys I just wanted from this video just to introduce the traverse concept the aim of traverse what are the data required for doing the calculations what are the measurements that we have to do before starting the calculations and then I provided some background about the main stages for doing the calculations the main stages can be summarized in the following you need first to calculate the angular error and distribute that error and then you need to calculate the linear error and to, to distribute it as well and after that you will get the final coordinates of the survey stations or of your traverse stations thank you very much for listening and I will see you soon bye now